Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I am going to discuss about Jenkins pipeline. So what is a Jenkins pipeline? Jenkins pipeline can be defined in a simple statement as it's a combination of plugin that supports integration and implementation of continuous delivery. One can write simple and complex job configuration using a script that will follow the pipeline DSL syntax. That means pipeline domain specific language. So this is an example of the pipeline. As you can see in this example, you have multiple stages. Every stage will have sequence of steps which will be executed. So let's say if I want to write the program using the Java language, then I have to follow the syntax and semantics which is provided by the Java language. In the similar manner, if I want to define my configuration using a pipeline, I need to use the syntax which is provided by the pipeline domain specific language. So let me open the official documentation of Jenkins pipeline that will tell you that what are the syntax and semantics you need to use to define the configuration for CI/CD process. So this is the official documentation of Jenkins pipeline. Using this documentation, you can understand what is the syntax you need to follow to create a pipeline for CI/CD process. So first, let me create a job inside the Jenkins. So on the Jenkins dashboard, just click create new jobs, specify the job name and select the pipeline. Click on OK. Scroll down. This is a place where you need to specify the script using the pipeline DSL syntax that will define the CI/CD process configuration. So let me go back to the syntax. All the instruction for the pipeline should go inside this block. That means this will be the entry point for your pipeline script. So I'll go back to the configuration and here I'm going to type the pipeline. This is the entry point for my pipeline script. So if I go back to the example, you can see in this configuration you have multiple stages and every stages will have multiple step for the execution. So we are going to follow the same structure. That means here you will have multiple stages and every stage will have multiple step for the execution. Now I will go back to the documentation of Jenkins pipeline. So as we know that this is the entry point, the next thing which we need to define is the agent. Agent is responsible for allocating the executor which is going to execute this pipeline. So the next thing which I'm going to define is the agent. And here I'm going to specify any. That means whatever the agent which is available right now that will pick up this pipeline for the execution. Then after that we need to define the stages. So I will go to the stages. And this is the syntax which I need to follow. You have stages, then a block, followed by stage and its name. So stages block and followed by the multiple stage. So stage and its name. So let me call it as cleanup stage. In the similar manner, I will create the other stages. So this is the git checkout stage. Restore package stage. This will be build stage and then the test execution stage. Now, as you can see here, I have created multiple stages and every stage is representing one of the stage in our CI/CD process. Now, after that, inside this stage, we need to define the steps. Those steps is going to execute. So I will go back to the documentation and look for steps. So this is how I need to define these steps. We have a steps block. Inside the steps block, we need to define the step. So steps 
and here I need to define this step for time being in every step I am going to print a message and for printing the message I will use the echo command which is a Windows command so let me open the command prompt and type echo hello world so I am going to execute this command now as you can see here currently we are executing this command via command prompt but when I execute this command via Jenkins pipeline it will not be able to execute it because it doesn't know what is the echo command so we need to take the help of Windows batch file to execute that command. In order to use the Windows batch file, use the bat followed by the command. So I will use echo cleanup stage. So when I execute this pipeline, it is going to create a batch file and the batch file will have this command and that batch file will be executed by this pipeline. And as I mentioned earlier, you can define multiple steps also. So if I want to define multiple step, I just need to create one more entry for the batch command. So let's say this is called as test execution started and test execution completed. Now once this is done, save it. So what we have done so far, we have created a pipeline block. Inside the pipeline block, we have defined the agent that will be responsible for associating the executor for this pipeline. So after that, we have defined the stages. Stages block can have single stage or multiple stage. In our current case, we have multiple stages. Inside the stage block, we have defined the steps. A steps block will have single step or multiple step. So if you look at this pipeline structure, we have defined all these steps which are corresponding to every step present inside our CI/CD process. Now I'm going to save this and click on build to execute it. So this is the output of our pipeline execution. As you can see here, it has five stages. Every stage has single or multiple step for the execution. So if I go to the build history, and console output you can see here it is just printing the message at the console and this is because of the echo command which we use inside these steps so so far we have defined the abstract pipeline for our ci cd process so let us do some more configuration for this pipeline navigate to the configure select this option that is discard old builds days to keep builds i'm going to put as 15 and max number of build is 10 and just save it so whatever the build history you see that will remain only for 15 days and maximum number of build history will be 10 so this is how you create the configuration using the jenkins pipeline